Hey everybody, how's it going? Got a little update for you guys. Uh, the project I was previously working on, I was working on inlaying my son's name in his gun stock. That's actually going pretty well. It's still in progress. I will do a video on that when I get done. The, also th the other thing I also plan on doing is upgrading my AR-15 a little bit and I'll probably shoot a video of that too. So, But anyway, here's what's new with me right now. I bought a new Leatherman rebar and I actually got one with a production defect however I'm gonna keep it because I like what they did with it so anyway I'll just get into the knife and uh, we'll go over it real quick this is the sheet that came with pretty standard for Leatherman it's the mole sheath it's got the strap on the back put your belt in here no problem it's got the velcro and the drainage hole on it if you need it I ended up getting the one in black oxide the only thing that I didn't know about this, and this is my first black oxide knife, is that when you get it out of the box, the black starts rubbing off on your fingers. After looking in a few knife forums, if you just take a, a damp rag with some oil on it and uh, rub the black that's coming off off of it, it stops doing that. So thankfully there was a solution for it, but it did have me worried for a little bit just because it was a new knife. So anyway, we'll just get into the tools. And I actually changed my uh, cutters out already. I had a spare set from a previous knife. And uh, the black was good, but the way they put the black oxide coating on those, it was kind of spotty and it just looked a little off. So I ended up changing those out to that nice bright nickel or chrome finish, whatever they've got on there. Anyway, we'll get into the tools. We'll get into the side that's right. Got the knife, got the file, spread the bits out, got our slotted screwdriver in small size, our leather reamer, and our large screwdriver. And now for the side that didn't go quite right. Got one serrated blade, got the can opener. Got the screwdriver. Got the Phillips screwdriver. It's a little smaller than the Leatherman 300 Super Tool, but it's just as sturdy. Uh, just the shaft's a little tinier. And now for the secret surprise: another serrated blade. So this one doesn't have the saw in it. And you know, honestly, I've probably only used the saw once in my Leatherman Super Tool 300. I use the serrated blade all the time since they're such a pain in the butt to sharpen. I've got two in this one, so they messed it up, but I'm okay with that, so I'm going to keep this one. The highlights of the tool is it's four inches closed, so it's much smaller than the Leatherman Super Tool 300. It's 6.7 ounces in weight, much lighter than the Super Tool. And it's 2.9 inches in blade length. So, Other than that, just a quick rundown of it. Uh, so far I like it. I've been carrying it. It's really light compared to the one I've been carrying before. I, I carry the Super Tool 300 and uh, this is loads lighter in comparison. So there's the knives. Thank you Leatherman. Appreciate it. Like I said, I'm okay with it. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later and hopefully I'll have that AR-15 video up for you guys here in a week or so.